Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog documenting my life as a professional footballer which at the moment isn't very busy. As you will know if you've watched the last couple of episodes of Keeping Goals, I'm in the UK, living with my family, back home again because of the lockdown that is going on worldwide. But despite of lockdowns, despite of suspended football seasons, Keeping Goals will continue as always. In today's episode, I'm gonna document a day in my life in lockdown, show you what I'm doing training wise, show you what I'm eating, show you what it's like to be back home where I grew up. And what I wanna do with today's episode is bring you guys more ideas for things that you can do to keep training, to stay on top of your game and to keep improving because despite all the chaos, despite all the frustration, there is a lot of opportunity for us as footballers to continue to get better. So in the morning, as you just saw, I normally wake up around half eight, have a shower, go downstairs, eat my breakfast. You guys saw what was in my breakfast. And once I've had breakfast and got ready, it's time to plan the day. For the purpose of outlining my training plan at the moment, I'm gonna use a whiteboard. Just cause I can. As a professional footballer, I obviously train quite a lot in season with my team, but also individually. That all changed once the seasons were suspended and everyone went into lockdown. You obviously have to evaluate how you're gonna train from home and continue to improve as a player. So what I did is I broke down my training into three main elements, physical, technical, and mental. As you can see from the whiteboard, it's even color coded for you. Physical, technical, and mental. Now within those training sections, I had to think up different types of training sessions which I could do from home if needs be. Most of these sessions will be applicable whatever situation you're in. So let's start with physical. There are four physical sessions in my training plan. We have home workouts, plyometric sessions, core and prehab work, and running. Here in the UK, you're allowed outside for one form of exercise per day. You can use that form of exercise to do one of your physical sessions if you wish. If you're at home, there are still some options for you to do. Again, color coded. I'm not gonna describe all of these sessions in this vlog, but if you follow Keeping Goals over the next few weeks, you will see them all. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will both learn as we go. Next up, technical drills. So we have home goalkeeper sessions, which you saw in Wednesday's vlog. If you haven't watched that already, go and watch it after this one. Part goalkeeper sessions and ball work sessions. Again, color coded. The part goalkeeper sessions where I would focus more on game specific skills, taking crosses, distribution, positioning, shot stopping. But those part goalkeeper sessions are a bit more difficult now that everyone's gone into lockdown. However, you can do the home goalkeeper drills, as you saw in the video, and ball work drills to keep your technique going. And next we have the mental sessions. These are things that you can do anywhere, anytime, at home, all you need is a quiet space to yourself and these will bring you some value. So we have self video analysis, where you go back and watch some of your old games and analyze yourself. Pro goalkeeper analysis, find a full match on YouTube, analyze the two keepers, what they did well, what they did badly, what you can take and add to your game. Meditation, very important, especially in these times of stress, important to look after your mental health. Match visualization, take yourself to a quiet space, put on headphones and visualize a match day from beginning to end, arriving at the ground to leaving at the ground. How does it feel to put your kit out? How does it feel to walk out in front of the stadium? How does it feel to make a save? How does it feel to concede a goal? How does it feel to win, to lose? Visualize the sounds, the smells, how it feels. Your body doesn't always know the difference between reality and subconscious, so if you can keep those cognitive pathways flowing, once you do return to matches, those visualization sessions will make sure that it doesn't feel strange and weird because you've been there lots of times during the lockdown. And then finally, a lot of you will thank me for this, gaming. Gaming is a great way for you to maintain that competitive element in your weekly schedule. Problem solving, teamwork, competition, all of that is key in sport and something that you can achieve if you have access to playing esports or gaming so you can use that as an excuse for your parents. There you go. So for me today, my sessions that I've got are home workout, ball work session, and then hopefully a gaming session with my brother later on. There may be more ideas that you guys can add in, but that's a good list to start with. And then each day you can pick a physical, a technical, and a mental to add into your daily routine so that you keep getting better. So with planning done, it's time to get on with training session number one for today. Session number one, is gonna be 
ball drills. Plan is this morning, I'm gonna do session number one and session number two straight after each other. They're both quite short. I can do them both in the garden. So I'm gonna put them together and get them done before lunchtime. But session number one that I'm gonna do first is just working on some ball drills. First touch, a little bit of passing. I'll put it up on screen, you can see what I'm gonna do. And we'll rattle through them. So ball work done, with a little bit of help from dad. Like I say, working on touch, pass, close control. Key things that you can do when you're in a confined area and that translate directly to my game. I'm gonna go straight into my home workout now. As you guys know, I work with Game Sharp Performance, Tommy Mundy, who helps me with my S&C. He's put together this home workout based on the stuff that I've got available here and the strength goals that we have set together to continue progressing my S&C, even though I can't get to the gym. In another episode, I'll go through the whole home workout in detail, direct description so that you can do it at home. But today I'm just gonna smash through that and then it's gonna be lunchtime. So, a little bit of home gym now. Let's go. So session's done, lunchtime. What I've got here is chicken breast, 
Uncle Ben's whole grain and quinoa rice, bit of spinach, couple of sausage rolls, they were here so why not, and a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. You guys have seen my normal diet in season, at the moment I'm eating similar things, just less quantity because I'm probably not training as much as I was before, so cutting the calories slightly, but still the same food groups. Now that training's done, I'm gonna eat this, and then this afternoon, it's mainly a bit of work. I'll do a bit of editing for the vlog. I'll do a bit of work on my highlight tape. I've got no idea how long this suspension's gonna be. My contract finishes end of May, so I need to have all my CV and footage in order. I'll also do other little bits and bobs, and then we'll see what happens later on this afternoon. But I'm gonna crack on and eat this, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So, just interrupting my work on the vlog, the bit of editing I was doing this afternoon, because, as you might be able to see from behind me, ProGK Academy, who if you don't follow on Instagram and subscribe to on YouTube, you need to, Omar Zini, American coach, some of the content that he puts out is incredible. At the moment, he's doing a lot of Instagram lives with goalkeeper coaches from around the world, and today, he's got Tim Dittmer on. Tim Dittmer is the head of goalkeeping at the FA, English Football Association, works with all the international goalkeepers from England, senior team, women's team, all the way down, talent ID, all that kind of stuff. I would recommend following Tim Dittmer on Twitter, he puts a lot of stuff up there about what he's working on, some of his ideas are top top quality. So there's a lot of opportunity at the minute because people are putting out a lot of key content. Rather than just watching goalkeeping content where it's just for views and it's something ridiculous, try and find stuff like this where you can really learn from people. These guys know what they're talking about, so if you get the opportunity, listen and learn. So, Pro GK Academy, follow on Instagram, subscribe on YouTube, Tim Dittmer, go and follow me on Twitter, and keep your eyes open for opportunities to learn like this one, because that's what I'm gonna do. Isn't that? Yeah. What are we having? We are having a super salad with quiche and beautiful fresh bread. Homemade. Oh, well, okay, warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> By the end of the lockdown, you're all gonna be YouTube superstars. <laughs> gonna be, yeah. It's gonna be, it's and just the, the, it's the worst thing that's gonna happen to us. <laughs> We're gonna become a vlogging channel. <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare. You're at the end, Sean. That's gonna be those spin-off cooking shows. Yeah, so, yeah. Hey, you should be some Instagram influencer. <laughs> I'm gonna put it away now while we... Yeah, so so as I said before, gaming is a good way of keeping that competitiveness and at the minute I'm going to play FIFA against my mate Max online so I'm going to batter him, better get my controller actually. And I'm already 1-0 down. So we won in the end. Good little gaming session. I'm only really good at FIFA. I know I should probably do things which aren't as kind of choreographed if I want that real kind of competition, things going wrong. Apparently League of Legends is one that's very good and has been used by a lot of NBA players when they've been injured, so maybe give that one a go. Anyway, 10 p.m., day done. I'm gonna get to bed now and get some sleep. I'll speak to you in the morning and sum up the day. So I hope it's brought you some value. I'm gonna get some kip and I'll speak to you in the morning. So that's it for today's episode of Keeping Goals. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope it brought you some value. I hope that there's something to take away from the training that I'm doing during the lockdown. I hope there's some ideas that you can use in your own training routines to make sure that you keep improving and that you stay on top of your game until football comes back. Let's hope it's not too long. I hope you enjoy seeing other aspects of my day too. Please let me know down in the comments what you want to see in upcoming episodes of Keeping Goals. I want to bring you as much value as possible. I want to entertain, bring you some education, bring you some insight, anything that you guys want to see. So let me know in the comments what you would like to see in future episodes. If you enjoyed today's episode, please give it a like. It'll help us to reach as many people as possible and we want to help as many goalkeepers, footballers, athletes, people as we possibly can with Keeping Goals during this time. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another episode of Keeping Goals. This week's Patron of the Week is Simon Gilbert. Simon, thank you so much for everything that you do to support me, especially 
during these times. I find it incredible that so many of you support me, support the channel, comment, like, share, subscribe, all the things that you do to help support the work that we're doing with Keeping Goals. But thank you Simon and all the other patrons for going above and beyond with that support. It does really mean the world to me. If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning Patron of the Week, winning glove giveaways, getting behind the scene posts, all the other things received by patrons, follow the link below this video. Come and join the conversation at the Keeping Goals Facebook group. I want to know what all of you guys are up to during the lockdown with your trainers. So it's a great opportunity to post on there and share some ideas with all the other members of the Keeping Goals Union. But that's it for today's episode. We'll be back this week with at least two episodes of Keeping Goals. But thank you for watching and I'll speak to you in a bit.